In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to duplicate a view. So let's go into sales. Let's say we want to duplicate our sales order view. And we want to have two different views, one for, let's say, Amazon orders and another for regular orders. And the reason why we might want to do this is, let's say we want to add the Amazon order reference on this list view, but we don't want to always see that. So we might go into studio and we add Amazon order ref or let's say Amazon fulfillment channel. And now we have that fulfillment channel set, but we always see it no matter what. Sometimes we don't want to see that or we want to make this view a little bit more custom to certain orders so we can duplicate the view. So what I'm going to do now is just remove this and we'll duplicate a view by going first into studio. We're going to add a new menu item. We'll call it Amazon orders. It's going to be from an existing view which is sale.order. And we'll move this under orders. Confirm. And now we have two different views, Amazon orders and regular orders. So in the Amazon order, I'll go to views and I'll make this a list view as default. And now again, the same problem exists because we're just duplicated the view or we're referencing the already existing view for that model. So if I add Amazon order ref or fulfillment channel, it's going to show up on both views. So now if we go to orders, we still see Amazon order ref as well as in Amazon orders. So I'll remove that from the view again. And now I'll show you the next step of this process, which is to go into our views. So we're going to go into user interface views. We're going to look for sale.order. We're going to look for this tree view right here for sale.order and we'll duplicate this view and we'll give it a new name so we'll just say sales.order.tree2 and now we want to go into window actions and we're going to search for our Amazon order view that we created or Amazon uh, menu item we have Amazon orders right here we're going to go to edit and down here in views we'll add that new view that we just created which is a tree view and that is sale.order tree2 save and close and now when we go into sales we look at our Amazon orders and our orders they look the same right now but if we go into our Amazon orders and now we add that Amazon order ref and the fulfillment channel we'll see that in orders those are not there because we duplicated the view and now when we're editing that view in studio it's a separate view